As we continue to learn more about the realities of our nation's meat supply chain, those in South Dakota's ag industry push for reform. Earlier this month on South Dakota Focus, Lieutenant Governor Larry Roden, who is currently serving as South Dakota's Interim Secretary of Agriculture, addressed the need to move forward with investigations into the four major meatpacking plants. But he said South Dakota needs a plan B. I'm hopeful that the current situation will bring new motivation to make those uh, investigations go beyond just uh, conversations. But I think, again, that we need to focus on a plan B in South Dakota. We are always at the mercy of the bottleneck uh, that occurs and every time there's a crisis like this, or last year there was a, a fire at a packing house. And in all those cases, we see the retail prices go through the roof. And unfortunately, the producers are always on the bottom side of that bottleneck. So uh, I'm focused on doing something at the state level uh, to help find uh, different markets, alternative markets, and to, uh, to help add value to our producers. You know, uh, we've, there's been a lot of conversation in this part of the world, especially about uh, Wyoming laws that they're proposing to, to uh, allow for direct sales of beef. Uh, as I looked into that, uh, become better educated about our system in South Dakota, and we are positioned pretty well. Our producers can already uh, sell beef uh, both through inspection exempt plants and through state inspection plants directly to consumers. Uh, the big roadblock is we're prohibited from uh, selling across state lines. And so there's opportunity there at the federal level, but even if we can't get past that roadblock, and we have every intention to do everything we can to, to do that, to allow sales of uh, state-inspected beef across state lines.